All right. So in my last video, I showed you how to get started with the Beacons page. Now, if you missed that video, you can certainly click on the link in the description of this video is where I'm going to have the link to that video. So my name is Tim Lee Cash, and I'm a big fan of Beacons page, and I'm here to help you set up your Beacons page because I believe that the Beacons page is the most powerful link and bow tool that you can uh, find in the marketplace today. So I'm going to get right down to it. I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of my Beacons page specifically. So as you recall, if you watched the first video, I created Kitty Cat Cool. Uh, it's just a way to show you how to sign up. But now that we're officially inside the Beacons page, I'm just going to touch on the three different tabs that are available to you. And then in more videos, I'm going to really dive deep on how to put everything together and, and how you can optimize your Beacons page. So if you've been looking for a link in bio tool and you got a lot of choices out there, there's, there's an endless amounts of choices out there. But what I want to do is I want to show you how Beacon page, Beacons page works because after trying several different link in bio uh, tools, I've come up with this concept or this idea that Beacons page is very powerful. The, the options that it gives you, the benefits that you're going to see when you can amalgamate all of your links in one spot is, is, um, is truly valuable. So I'm a big fan of Beacons page and I'm hoping that the information I'm sharing with you on this channel helps you. So again, let's dive right into it. So again, I started my Beacons page probably as of recording this video, probably two months ago uh, as of recording this video. So I've had it for a little bit now. I've had a chance to, uh, you know, uh, put it together, uh, try different links. And I've gone on to set up uh, Beacons pages for, for influencer pages and to people uh, specifically on TikTok. So if you happen to be on TikTok and you're want to grow your brand on TikTok, I find that uh, Beacons page is a, is a great tool to drive traffic to your uh, link in your bio. So I know the term link in bio sometimes can be thrown around is not, is not very serious, but um, after you've uh, watched all my videos, you'll, you'll get to notice that having a link in your bio is very important. It's a very important part of your branding and it allows you to showcase all the projects that you're involved in. So whether you offer a product or a service or um, you make things or you craft things or you have an Etsy store or you have uh, different profiles on every social media platform, with Beacons page, you can amalgamate on that and you can build it uh, beautifully through here. So now that I'm on the inside, I'm just going to show you how there's three tabs here. My page appearance and analytics, okay? So where you're gonna spend most of your time is, is on my page, okay? Out of the three, um, you're gonna spend most of your time on my page. Now, the most valuable part of Beacon's page is the analytics. Now, I'm a big fan of analytics. I always want to see what's working, what's not working. So the analytics uh, tool allows you to see what people are clicking on, if there are links in your bio that nobody's clicking on um, and, and how that works. So I'm gonna dive deep into that here on this video as well. So let's start off with my page. So my page is great. So all of these tabs here are movable, okay? So what you can do with them is you can actually move them around and put them in any order. What I like about it is that uh, Beacons page gives you like a live version of your Beacons page as you're working on it. So you get to see as you're adjusting your beacons page, what it actually looks like to the, your audience, right? So that's very important. Now, myself, I always go and actually double check the beacons page just to see aesthetically if it looks like something that catches my eye, because typically if it catches my eye, it's going to catch the attention of my audience. So I put it together based on, you know, where I want people to, to land on my page. So I simply put the most uh, important links towards the top, basically. So what I essentially do is that if I'm promoting myself, right, I'm going to put the, 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 the options or the products and services that I want people to take advantage of first. Okay, now this is different than doing an influencer one. So 
An influencer one means that if you're managing an influencer account, uh, like a meme account, a beauty account, or something niche related, um, and you create a page out of that, um, you know, you'll want to put some of the links maybe towards the bottom of the page. This allows people to actually have to, you know, go and search, especially if you're running a sale or you're running something as a one-time offer. Strategy behind it is to have people land on your uh, link in your bio and have to scroll down to the bottom. And what they do as they scroll down past everything else you have to offer to get to that link that they're looking for, they get to see subconsciously what else you have to offer. So I'll get into that strategy here shortly, but on a personal uh, Beacons page, uh, what I typically do is I, I offer or I show the offer that I want to advertise the most. So as you can see here as recording this, this is October. And so I have on here and you can animate um, all these buttons. So right now I have, I'll create your Beacons page October special. So that's the one I want to highlight for this month. This is a service that I want to highlight because uh, of this channel, because I'm helping you. Um, if you don't have time to do it, shameless plug, if you don't have the time to put this all together, I can certainly put it together for you and I'll get the foundation in place for you and you can customize it after the fact. But the foundation and the optics of it and the strategy behind it are very key. And so I like putting it together because I like really showcasing everything you have to offer. So if you happen to be on Instagram, if you happen to be on Twitter, if you have to be on TikTok or any other platform like YouTube, I can certainly amalgamate it all and make it look really good for you, um, hopefully to your liking. And then you're, you're able to uh, customize it after that. Uh, based on these videos that I show you. So the My Page tab allows you to, to take advantage of all the features that Beacon's page offers. So for example, right now I have a header. So what does the header consist of? Well, the header consists of the picture, okay? So now, as you can see here, I can have my picture in a square version, or I can have it congruent with every other social media platform and have it in a circle, okay? Now, the other thing is that uh, you are given the option to do solid border or none at all. Now, when I put together Beacon's page for people, typically I don't put a border around it because much like having a story um, on different social media platforms, it just, the you're kind of in a habit of clicking on people's stories all the time. Well, Beacon's page doesn't offer a story. So when I put that ring around it, it may prompt people to actually click on it and you don't want that because it doesn't do anything. So you don't want people's attention to focus on trying to click on something that it that doesn't work. So I go without a border because like I said, it doesn't mirror having something in your story and it doesn't prompt somebody uh, to click on it when there's nothing that happens. You'd rather have them click on something that takes them somewhere or to a product or offer or add to your email list. So you don't want them clicking on anything that doesn't work because subconsciously if they click on it, it's a waste of a click and they get frustrated and they just skip on because they either think it doesn't work or your beacons page isn't uh, together. So I would personally recommend going with no border and that's how I build the beacons pages that I do. So as you can see here, you have the, the header going back to it. We're on the header page, right? So, um, so um, we're on my page, and then the first one you're going to want is header. So the header, like I said, um, goes with your profile picture, and that should be congruent with with everything you have on all social media platforms. I'm a big fan of congruency and consistency. Now, I know some people have a different picture on Instagram, have a different picture on their Twitter, have a different picture everywhere. But uh, for me personally, and based on personal experience. I like having the same picture on every one of them so that they can clue and hey, that's 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 Tim, right? So I keep it consistent. It's by no means what you have to do, which is something that I recommend. So so as you scroll down here, you'll see here you, you can put something in your bio. So um, I run my own social media management company. Uh, so I have here founder of T4C Media and creator of the Vitamin Hippo. And the Vitamin Hippo is just a um, health and wellness website that I started uh, just to help people with their health and wellness. So I don't put my location in there. You certainly are welcome to. If you want to type something in, you could put 
uh, something in. So if I wanted to put, um, you know, like Phoenix, Arizona, uh, right, or um, sorry if I have that wrong. But anyway, um, so you certainly could put the location in there if you want. I find that uh, it's personal preference at this point, right? So as you scroll down, you're also given a couple versions of how you want it displayed. So maybe you don't like how it's displayed like this, right? So you certainly can, um, you know, display it like this, as you can see by the uh, graphic here, you can display it like that, or you can display like, I personally like this, especially when you start adding more links. Now I only have my YouTube on here. I don't have any of my other socials hooked up. And it's only because that where I'm working on this project and helping you create a beacons page, I only want to drive traffic to my YouTube channel. Um, so as you click, as people click on that and want to learn more about how to create a beacons page, I only want them to go watch my videos, subscribe to my channel at this point. I don't want them clicking on, um, you know, different things to take them because primarily right now for marketing, my focus is growing my YouTube channel. So that would be the only reason why that I don't have all my socials up there. But if you're a creator, an influencer, an entrepreneur, and you're present on all platforms, and you have something to offer on all platforms, I would say uh, link them all up. But just for me specifically, um, based on what I have on the go right now, I only have my YouTube filled up, so uh, connected. So here's where you can link up all of your social media, right? So all it takes is a username. Sometimes the username, um, depending on what you have, it does work. Um, but sometimes I just put the link in there as well. So for example, if I went to, um, my TikTok, for example, right? So if I went to my own TikTok and I have my link, view profile, and what you want to do is you want to copy and paste, and then you put that in there, that works as well, right? So then it saves, and then when you click on that, it'll take you right to the TikTok, okay? So, um, you know, you can do it by username or you can do it by, by actually copying and pasting the link, okay? So even if I put my username in there, um, it would still link up. So I just, uh, either or is fine. So I'm gonna take that out there for now. Now, see these delete buttons? I wouldn't delete them. I would just keep them there. Because if you want to change, like for me, my strategy right now is to drive traffic to my YouTube channel. Now, um, as I build this YouTube channel and it starts to gain momentum and I don't need my link in my bio to drive traffic anymore, I may add my other socials on there. But where I'm primarily trying to, um, you know, drive traffic to my YouTube channel, I'm just going to keep my YouTube channel there for now. So don't delete those uh, because you'll want them maybe for a later date if you're not using them all. Um, you can certainly add more. They have lots of different options. So just to let you know, um, they basically have Twitch, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Reddit, like all of these different social media uh, platforms you can uh, put on their Substack, Medium, so on and so forth. So you can, you can just add and add and add on there. And um, it's amazing. So um, the, the, the level of uh, connection you can have all in one place is phenomenal. So for example, I write on Medium. Now I do have my Medium uh, account on here. Um, so what I did was is I have my, um, my, my, my website, health and, health, and, health and wellness, sorry, website on the publication. And I just have it here clicking on Medium. So it'll take people there. I don't have it linked up to my bio because again, I don't, I just want to drive traffic to my YouTube specifically right now. Right. So as you can see, it's very, very well versed. And this is just one component. This is one fraction of a component that's available. Right. So this is just the header tab. Right. So, um, so where do these tabs come from? Okay. So you see here, you know, header is outlined in black. It's bolded. Text is requests isn't right. Links, email, video isn't, Twitter isn't, TikTok isn't. So what determines whether they're highlighted or not? Well, you go down here, right. And you just toggle this right here, right? So if you don't want it to show, you take it out, okay? And that instantly turns this that color, okay? So where I want it activated, you keep it activated, okay? Now over here with the three little dots, um, you can delete it as well. I don't recommend that because you want it, 
but um, you'll want to uh, keep it activated, keep it toggled over, make sure it's black so it's showing. Now I have all these other ones on here that are not highlighted or activated, just for simply just to show you what they all do. So where do the, all these blocks come from? So right here, you have one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, right? You have all these blocks, they're interchangeable, right? So very user-friendly again, right? So you come down here and when you go add a block, this is all of the features that they give you. So here's where I get really excited to show you because you can, they give you access to four headers that you can put in there. Now, typically you only need one, depending on how you want to structure your page, but they give you four, in addition to the one that's on there, they give you four more headers, links. Now, um, Beacon's page gives you unlimited links to work with, okay? They give you unlimited links. So you can put unlimited links on there. Now, there is a fine line between putting too many links on there and maybe not enough on there you want. My advice towards this is that if you are part of a lot of different things or maybe you're an affiliate and I'll certainly explore the world of affiliate marketing um, as this channel grows, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just showing you the tabs. Um, you gotta be careful with how many links you put in there because when I build Beacons pages for people, if, if you click on the Beacons page and they don't have enough content to really make their Beacons page look like it's alive and you have a lot to offer, what I do is I, I do make it look like that so that it looks like it's the place to be. It looks like to your audience that you, you want to check that frequently because there's things that might change, there's offers they should take advantage of, so on and so forth. But you don't want too many on there. Like my page specifically, I may have one or two more links on there than I should um, that I would normally go with. But just for the purpose of showing you this here, I just want to show you kind of like how everything looks. So, but typically you want to stay between five and seven uh, different tabs on there. So, like I said, you do get unlimited, but there is a fine line between not having enough and then having too much. So, going back to what they give you. So, when they give you a link block, that means they give you a link block where you could put um, a lot of links in there. So, they give you a link block, but then what you can do is you can split it up. So, you could put one link block, have like you know, three links in there, then you can have a picture and then another link block with another three links, right? So they give you five altogether link blocks you can work with. The next one they give you is text. So that just means that you can write a text. Another thing I use this for is that if you have any um, links you want to drive traffic to, you can put the URL in there and you can have people click on it. Uh, so that's what I use that for. The spacer is great. Just aesthetically, if you want it to look uh, even sometimes when it puts it in there, it's not as even. So you can use up to five spacers. The email and MSS means just means that, or SMS just means that people can uh, opt in for their email or text messaging as well. So, if, um, I, I, you know, I, in most cases, I don't typically recommend asking for people's phone numbers and things like that. But the email, as far as if you want to collect emails, if you want to build a list, uh, and you want to e mass email people, I do have an application for that as well. So I can go over that with you, but um, that's great as well. So you can add that in there. Images are great. So if you, um, if you want to put images in there from, uh, you want to pull images from your products, if you want to pull images from your Instagram, wherever you have static images, they give you up to five that you can use on here, which is great. Another added benefit is um, the, um, being able to put your YouTube link in there. So this is super valuable. So once you click on this here, right, it's always going to add it to the bottom of your page. As you see here, when I just clicked on it, it's going to add the placeholder at the bottom. So if I wanted to take, um, like this video after I'm done creating it and put it in there, all I would do is copy the link and put it in there. And then what it's going to do, and this is great, is that uh, your audience can actually watch the video in this feed. It doesn't bounce them out or take them anywhere. It keeps them on this page so that they can watch your video. Um, let's say if you had like a 20 minute video or a 10 minute instructional video, it doesn't take them like out to YouTube. Um, it will recommend that after the video is done, it will recommend more of your other videos. But the point is, is that it keeps them on your beacons page so that after learning or hearing what you have to say, if you're on YouTube or 
taking in your content, they can scroll up and then take advantage of any of the offers or products or services that you offer. And they keep them on that platform. So it doesn't take them outside of it. So it gives them you a better chance to, you know, sell your products and services, drive traffic to your Instagram, build up your Twitter, whatever it is that you're trying to focus on. It allows your audience to stay on that page. And if your if your links are optimized, they will take advantage of what you have to offer. So, so let's say I added that and then I didn't want it on there. So for the purpose of just showing you how it works, you just hit delete and I'll take it out of there. You can add it back, but um, you can just hit delete. So add block. So we were on this one here. So next one was music. So from our um, singers, musicians, if you want to showcase your Spotify music or your iTunes music, you can you can literally put the link in there and your track, your audio will be able to be played on your Beacons page. That's amazing. Like, like how crazy is that? They don't have to go to Spotify. They don't have to open it up. They just go to your Beacons page and listen to your music and it's all in one place. And so let's say if you had merch that you were selling, you essentially could have your your audience listen to your music, right? And then if you had your merch link down below that, they can buy your merch after listening to your music. Like like the, the potential with Beacon's page is just blows my mind what you can do to market yourself on just one thing. So they don't, they don't have to, you don't have to tell them to go to Spotify and listen to it where they can listen to so many other of your competitors, right? So you can do that. So that that's another great, added benefit of that. So and Twitter and integrations, which I said, I'm going to get into that at a different time, but uh, there's also support, like the monetization aspect of it. There's also uh, support. So when you put that in there as well, what it gives you here, right, is you can do, uh, you know, buy me a coffee, right? So you can put that and then you can actually link up your Stripe account and you can have um, the, the button here, now I have this, I have my own button here uh, because that um, takes me to the actual buy me a coffee page. Now this one here is operated through your um, beacons page so that people can actually just uh, do it through your page and not take into a different um, site at all. But um, so you can, you can change that um, card or you can do button, right? So, um, but yeah, no, it's, this is like, when people can um, support you, so you can have like support me, support my next big project, buy me a coffee, right? So people can actually uh, support you through here and, and it's amazing. So the opportunities on here are, are just endless. So um, the, that's why I really, really um, like Beacon's page. I like the effectiveness of it. I like how you can monetize it, right? And all these features, like, you know, like having all these features in here so that you can, you can actually monetize and, and, and get some extra income is, is phenomenal. So that's the my page part, right? So you have um, all of these different tabs, like I said, which are customizable, right? So that's, that's where you're going to spend a lot of time building your page. Now, for appearance-wise, okay, the possibilities even on here are endless. There's different types of themes you can go for, right? Now, I choose a certain kind, but you can certainly, um, you know, pick, uh, you know, their, um, their preloaded themes that are in here, right? So, um, like down here, now the one I chose for myself is called Lux, which is is the one I usually go for. You can choose the arrangement of your buttons, what your buttons look like. If I want to go to that style, you can certainly do that style. If you want to do this style or do square, I choose to do round, just a personal preference that I like going for. So a lot of this here, you can um, leave on their default settings. Now here's where you can play with the background. You can upload the image. My image that I personally have on mine is, um, you know, something I really like doing is traveling, right? So on here, I have my background picture is, is of uh, the ocean, right? So so you certainly can do anything, um, put any picture in behind there that is aesthetically pleasing, right? You could put a picture 
of your brand. Of, you know, if you sell a product or service, you you holding your product or service, right? So, or you can use their default tabs as well. So you can go in and just use their presets as well. So another thing that you can do is you can choose the different types of um, backgrounds, whether it be dark, light, or none, right? And then you have the page colors as well. So uh, the fonts, I chose to use what's called Jost for my fonts, but you certainly can change them to, to whatever, you know, maybe, maybe you're used or familiar with how to do fonts, but I choose to use um, Jost, right? So... So that's where you can actually aesthetically put your beacons page together. You can you can do it on here, and you can you can really personalize it, really get get there and personalize it. Now the analytics tool. So like I was saying at the beginning of the video, um, you're going to spend a lot of time on my page building your page, but the most important part is going to be the analytics, so you can actually see what people are clicking on, and if you had your beacons page up and running and you go to the analytics tool and you notice that, you know, one of your links isn't getting any clicks at all, then you know, okay, well, maybe my audience is not um, into that. So then what you could do is replace it with another link that might work, or it could be the wording that you have on the button itself. Um, what you wanna do with a lot of these buttons is create urgency. So you'll want to use uh, language like, you know, um, and soon, offers limited, limited quantity, things of that nature. Um, if that's the case, like obviously don't um, say it if you don't mean it, but um, you know, the, the reason why people might not be clicking on that link is it just, it's not inviting them to click on it specifically. So in analytics tool, you wanna spend some um, time on there just to um, get familiar with, you know, what people are clicking on once you have it up and running for quite some time. So on an influencer page that I run, I have several links in there to a different affiliate products and it tells me, you know, which ones that people are clicking on. If they're clicking on one over another, I may delete the one that they're not clicking on or I may re replace it with something very similar to the one they are clicking on, right? So, so those are the three tabs. So you have my page, appearance, and analytics. So um, hopefully that helps explain a little bit more about the tabs. Um, if you missed the first video, like I said, I'm going to have the link um, in the description to my very first video of how to get started, how to even get to this point. So if you did tune in this long and follow along, um, that's great. Thank you for doing. Consider subscribing um, because I will be releasing more videos and getting more in depth on um, Beacon's page specifically. So consider subscribing and uh, I will see you at the uh, next video.